Hello my YouTube peeps. I had to do a quick roll of pennies before I show you me treasure hunting at the Great Salt Lake. It's a good video and I think you'll enjoy it, so stick with me. Well my YouTube peeps, I will do that roll of pennies super fast. Got these three stacks of coins. And I know one of them is a wheat penny, so let's see if we can figure out which one it is. No, that's not it. That's where the date is on this bad boy, right? 1962D. I don't see no doubling or anything like that. I mean, that might count as something right there. See how the L's connected to the side right there? That would be a good die chip. And then we got 1970D. Not a weak penny. 1975, the D is way chipped. You can see that it's like almost all filled in. Um, over here on Liberty, if I get this to you that way for you, there you go. Um, there's a lot of wear and tear on the L, but not on the rest of it. That's sort of odd. They, they could also be called a, a grease error, as they called it, where they actually over polished it in one spot and did that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but otherwise, you can say copper to me. Yeah, this one's not a weak penny either, but it did weigh at, ooh, there you go, 1966. That's a good one, but it's not a weak penny, it's just a regular dirty penny. <laughs> That's all right. This one isn't either. Another 1975D with the D filled in, which is die chip. Ah, oh, here we go. 1957. Hey, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And bada bing, bada bang, baby. May not be a great find, but it is a good find. It's still a wheat penny, so it still counts. And I still have all those wheat penny, all those pennies right there to go through. So hopefully we'll find some more wheat pennies. But let's see what else we got here. So that's the keeper right there, the wheat penny. We got a 1974 D. Yeah, those die chips and the and the the um, mint marks are very very common. And we got 1966. No mint mark. Don't see no doubling. See the L touching the edge there, but that could be wear and tear. So that's what it looks like. Not a weak penny. 1975 D. Wow. This one's not in bad condition, actually. 1978 D. Huh. Let's illuminate it. There we go. That's better. Guess I shouldn't have this all along. But it's not that bad looking. Um. 1972 D. My wheat penny. Then we got these last three. Then we'll hop on over to the video of me treasure hunting. 1978, the D is a major chip. Um, 1966 again. No mint mark. And 1978, that is a definite dyed chip. Because that D is completely filled in. As you've seen, these die chips are very, very common. So that about covers it for what's in your pocket penny edition. Like I said, we got a nice wheat penny. And why do we have this penny for? What is that? 1962D. I kept it for some reason, but hey, we got a wheat penny right here. So stay tuned for me treasure hunting at the Great Salt Lake. Uh, you'll be in store for some good treasure right there. Hello, my YouTube peeps out there. I'm over here at the Great Salt Lake. Hopefully, we're going to find some treasure along this, if you want to call it a beach. But hopefully, we'll find something because we got meditating. It's going to be me and my homeboy Tony, which doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be out here meditating and hopefully finding treasure. 
And our permit says we got to take the trash with us that we find. Well, as long as they pay me for it. <laughs> well, we dug a hole. Metal detector still says it's down there. Unfortunately, we're hitting the water because we're right next to water. <laughs> so we can't really find it without digging up a whole lot of water. So now it's time for some mud stompers to, there you go. I did it last time. And then I'm wearing tennis shoes. And some of you two peeps understand, I'm not the only one out here. I said my homeboy, you see the backup right there is with me. I'm letting him run the metal detector. And I'm going to be running the shovel and the little wand. We've already dug four holes with no luck. Yes, you count that as treasure right there. Or that. Or bury it even a shoe. How's that? A shoe. A wing, a sock. That's not exactly treasure. But I hope we find something. Well, this is my first dig with my handy shovel and my orange dildo. I mean, wand. <laughs> it actually was pretty accurate. Unfortunately, I watch. Swing, your, swing the wand around. Tap on the ground where you. We were getting like hits like almost everywhere here. And I think it was detecting your shoe. Hit back over by where we dug, so we found. It still says it's there. Anymore. Well, you have not, you have, don't have it on all metals either. You have to hit mode until it says AM. Keep going. One more. Right there. See? I think we have might have slight uh, metal deposits somewhere in the sands because it's gone off everywhere. 27, 31, 24, 23. Well, my YouTube peeps, you did find some treasure, but it wasn't what I was looking for. Looks like it was a meteorite, a meteorite uh, crashed here and just came super flat. Just found her a second piece of treasure. Wow. Isn't that so nice? And now our metal detector went off with another piece of trash. Hit with a good wand. Oop, something's still down there. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's down there. It is setting off our beeper alarm. Good. Is that it right there? There's a drill bit. No, that's wood. Still down there. Wow. This is going to be a good dig. The wand is actually going off too. As long as it's not, I don't know what you see sitting around you here. All that dark matter you see is slag from Kennecott when he's a dump here. And it has become a state park, and people like to camp here, as you can see. Yeah, the whole thing lights up. It says our whole thing is being lit up, but look at this. As we get further down, look at that, we got... There we go. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck is that? That's what's going off on right there. See? I'm not taking the trash with you. I'm sorry. It's just trash. That's all it is. Yeah. We well, keep finding people's trash. Isn't that sad? Hello, my YouTube peeps out there again. I'm just showing you the Great Salt Lake, well, the uh, Salt Air Building, where they like to throw concerts sometimes. Sometimes. We're still out here at the Great Salt Lake, and the clicking noise you hear in my background is my homeboy Tony trying to roll up and down the window that I locked on him that he can't unlock. But yeah, our trip was sort of bust, but at least I'll show you guys this treasure. If you ever decide to come to uh, the Great Salt Lake in Utah.